Hello friends. How are you? How is everybody today? This is Mouse 8 Cougar coming at you with a video and today what I really want to talk to you guys about is uh, the nightmare or Freddy Krueger specifically and the stigma around that he is boring and I kind of get where people come from when they say this because you see almost the exact same Freddy builds all the time like you see like you see like the swing chains, you see the jump rope, the double regress. It's a combination of pop, uh, corrupt intervention, or dying light corrupt intervention, thanatophobia. It's basically like you always see like Forever Freddy's basically. Or like some kind of attempt at a Forever Freddy. Or even like you kind of see like Endgame Freddy's because he comes with Bloodborne too. And because No Ed is a base game perk that they just synergize together. Um... I'm not necessarily going to try and break the stigma of Freddy, like, necessarily, because I feel like that his rework is way too old, like, for people to really start thinking about how to play Freddy differently, but if I could encourage at least one person to try and think outside the box about Freddy, Freddy has a lot of really fun add-ons, is the thing. Like, some of the, a lot of them do the exact same thing, but, like, I think I showcased a little bit of that in my Dead Man Switch build. And today, what I want to do is I want to try and take advantage of a couple add-ons that I see used sometimes, but they're more or less just slapped in a build. Or, rather than that, among, like, the common people. Today, I want to try and take advantage of the add-on pill bottle. And uh, the add-on green blue dress. I always say green dress, by the way. I think it's because the add-on is green. Like so, like it is what it is. But I always get mixed that up. But yeah, basically, what the pill bottle does is the survivors will see the nightmare intermittently at a reduced distance of 12 to 24 meters. The nightmare is entirely invisible to survivors beyond 24 meters. The Nightmare is invisible to awake survivors while carrying a survivor, too. This is super interesting to me. So, I wanted to try and, like... You don't really see a lot of people do that other than, like, Oh, like, I'm just gonna slap this in and that. I don't really see, like, a build around this one, this specific one. And I'm also gonna try to take advantage of the blue dress. As I mentioned before, what this does is survivors increase it slightly increases the healing and repair regression penalties, and a survivor's aura will be revealed to this nightmare for four seconds when they fail a healing or skill repair skill check. So what we are doing, we are trying to use Pop Goes the Weasel with oppression. This is actually a common thing that has been like a. It's actually not too common because of our current meta in the game, but you do see this combo like every so often. Pop Goes the Weasel just synergizes with Oppression so well. And if you don't know what Oppression does, uh, I'll explain what Pop does in case like you uh, get any first timers who have never seen this video before. Um, basically, after you hook a survivor, then you kick a generator for like pop goes the weasel is af active for 45 seconds if you kick a generator within that 45 seconds the generator will lose 25 percent progress like extra on top of like from when you kick it so the generator will start to regress massively and what oppression does is when you damage a generator up to three other random generators also begin regressing if the affected generators are being repaired, any survivors repairing them receive a difficult skill check. So that is actually huge. This synergizes with our blue dress add-on so much. Because if they miss the skill check from oppression, like if we go somewhere, pop a gen, and like the survivors like sleuthing, or they like kind of like went zooming off, then we can see the aura of somebody else working on a different gen, hop over to that gen, and attack that survivor. So this could help us spread out pressure a little bit more effectively. And I bet you're wondering how we're trying to take advantage of the pill bottle. We are using a perk called Monitor and Abuse. Normally, you would see this perk used on, like, killers with smaller terror radius, like uh, Death Slinger, like Hag, because they have base 24 meter terror radiuses. So, if you don't know what Modern Abuse does, it's a doctor perk. Um, while in a chase, your terror, radar, 
radius is increased by 8 meters. So your tear radius will go from 32 meters to 40 meters. Otherwise, though, when you're not in the chase, your tear radius is reduced by 8 meters, and your field of view is increased by 10 degrees. So, basically, what this will do is it'll bring your tear radius down to 24 meters. So, this actually synergizes with pill balls so well. Because if you see a survivor from 32 meters away, the survivor won't know that you are looking at them. And if there's more than one, this gives Freddy a little bit more time to pick and choose his targets, is what I'm thinking with this. So that's how we are going to try and spread pressure and we're going to be able to use this to sneak up on our prey more effectively. And of course we're just running barbecue and chili because I love barbecue and chili. It gives you extra blood points, gives you info, helps you teleport to a generator. And I'm just doing a random blood point offering because map doesn't really matter to me. And um, basically we're just going to hope for the best here. And... Um, Hope that we get a good game to go along with this. Alright, here we go. By the way, this will be my very first time ever trying out this build. So, it's going to be interesting. If I don't do well, I wouldn't be too shocked. But, I'm hoping that I can at least cause a little bit of mayhem. We got two toolboxes and a med kit, and Jane doesn't appear to be holding anything. Okay. This is interesting. Like, I'm really excited, because I was thinking about, like, this, trying this type of build out. All right, 15 seconds. Is this the part where she switches to a key? No, we're good. Okay, sweet. No map offering, so it will be random. Petrified oak, though, that's, um... Okay. We could, I'm expect, maybe, oh, there were toolboxes, so maybe there's, like, Sabo plays. Like, one person is going to try and go for Sabo plays. Maybe two, actually. I don't know. something stuck in my teeth actually what's this alrighty so hopefully we can at least see a little bit of value from a build like this Suffo pet, okay. Interesting map. I was like right off the bat. Oh, we're like people speed. I mean, at least we feel. F oh, this is like from. Hmm. I think this is from like the increased FOV. Hmm. Interesting. Let's try and approach from behind. Oh, wow, fuck. We hit him.
Come on, play it. Okay. Ah, oh, I should have. I've got to break it. Okay. Let's try and get a hook here. Oh yeah, that's a hook. That's a hook, Sabo. I wanted to use oppression here, man. Oh, okay, the big spins. I'm gonna break it. Kate, you're throwing. Oh my god. These guys are throwing hard. That's fine. That was a interesting dead hard though. Yeah. Um I want to yeah, I want to contest this save actually. I slug. That's fine. If I could get two downs here, that'd be insane. Nice spin. Not that time, though. Two downs? That's sick, though. Man, it really does feel like you're faster with the Adam Chris FOV, though. Okay. This guy was in the basement. And there's no decisive strike, so I can kind of do whatever I want. Dead hard, dead hard, dead hard, dead hard. Nope. Goodbye, Dwight. And you know what? I'm going to pop this because I haven't done that yet. Oh, yeah. Who's this? Deception? Nope! Head on play, or at least an attempt at it. Oppression is on cooldown, though. I didn't see anybody off barbecue there, though. Oh my. Hello, Kate. Dead hard? Okay. Uh, I know she doesn't have BT, so I am gonna slug. Thank you. Is the game over, like, right now? Uncuckables? Any uncuckables here? Oh, good dead hard. And I am whiffing now after playing this game so almost perfectly well. 
Oh my god, I'm so bad! <laughs> I'm basically just like giving them a t so many second chances. Come on, Elodie, let's go. And that's game. That person's like a mile away over here. Sorry, Kate. No, in my luck, the hatch will spawn like right underneath the Jane. Oh, she's over here. Okay. Does she have tenacity? Like, that's pretty far away to crawl. Alrighty, well, um, uh... I didn't really get to use the build that time, though. Flip-flop, maybe? Man, that FOV is actually, like, super nice. Well, I'll teleport for points, I guess. And, sure. Bloop! Bloop! I mean, that sucks. I didn't really get to use this build, though, but... I guess that shows that the Sigma against Freddy is, uh... Pretty strong, still. Did I get out? They seemed like they were kind of throwing there. I'll have to try this again sometime. Other than, I think we got value out of Monitor, though. Like, from, like, when we snuck up behind the Dwight there. Oh, well. Everybody around my ring, too. There was an Unbreakable, but it was from Dwight. This. Oh, she did have Breakout. Okay, that's definitely the Kate. And... Two breakouts. Oh my god. That's crazy. Oh well. GG's dudes. I mean... Huh. Actually, I would say like... And we got value out of oppression, too, because, like, since I didn't get to look off barbecue and I just, like, kicked the gen, I knew where the Jane was, so I was able to teleport right over to that generator. So, I would say we got value out of, like, the two perks. Uh, I didn't really see her aura. She must have, like, hit. But then again, she probably just went zooming, like, right after it, so I'll have to try this again sometime. Well, if you did tune into this video, I very much do appreciate you watching. And I do highly encourage you guys to read, like, Freddy's add-ons. Because I think they're all very... Like, some of them are, like, the same as, like, the others. Like, but it just tear up. But, like, I think that they are some of the most unique add-ons of the game. Whenever I go into Blood Web, I always want to grab, like, something from it like i always want like these like the nancy's masterpieces i want the pain thinners from palette freddy i want this if i want to do dead man's i always thought this was interesting and i grab like the regression ones because like maybe like you could use them in a build like that's not like forever freddy the ultra rares are interesting too and yeah that's really all i have to say thank you guys very much for tuning in to um uh the slaughter i guess goodbye